tell me a little bit more about how you do it and what are your like just initial high level first steps when it comes to thinking about building your 2024 plan or the next year's plan, especially in the world of real estate. Sure. No, thank you. So uh, a couple things that I normally like to do is before I come up with the new plan i like to assess what happened with the old plan what i was able to do what i was able to stick to it what i have to improvise and what i didn't do because for whatever reason so just to give an example um part of my my uh, strategy was to reach out to my seller clients uh, mm -hmm. that already bought with me and that I wanted to help them understand their options to lower their mortgage payments. That was a whole campaign I created, but of course in the environment when interest rates are high, yeah. then you have to put a pause into that. But then do you abandon that initiative or do you actually go into something different? So I came up and improvised and came with a whole new strategy where mm -hmm. I did uh, my like, um, video CMAs and right. I did a comparison of different pricing. I said, hey, here's one website says this, this other website says this, this is what I yeah. see, this is what I'm doing. So I did it in a different way and it worked out really well. So you just got to always be able to improvise and make sure that you make the right changes. Always be on your toes, get ready to move. I think one of the things that I always tell, whether it's clients or anyone who I have a conversation with, I say the most deadly thing you can have as a business owner, especially as a small business owner, because it probably won't affect the major companies that have you know millions and millions of dollars in mark marketing budgets the shift will affect them but they have the funds to kind of make the shift with the market so one of the things i tell people it's like listen if you're not on top of it and are not looking and always don't have the when do i shift when do i not when do i do this when do i not like you're always just going to be left behind and it's really tough um, you know, you and I got to experience it a little bit when it, when COVID happened when, in 2020, when everything was going from, you know, between January to March in Maryland specifically, like things were just shifting. Right. And then we mm -hmm. hit March and then we made that shift. So I think that was a, that was, that was an interesting time.